What a treat. We welcome in senior lead NBA insider for the Athletic and Stadium, also a member of the FanDuel family, serving as co-host of the Run the Back NBA show. <gasps> Shams is here. Hi, Shams. <laughs> Hi, I'm happy to be here. I appreciate you guys having me. I love the set. It has such a homey Thanks. feel. Yeah, so that's appreciate you guys having me on. way to put it. That's great. Appreciate what are you? How, are you enjoying your time here? I am. It's fun to be in studio. We haven't done in studio. This is our first week in studio, so it's been fun. You know, Chandler Parsons, Eddie Gonzalez, Michelle Beadle. Yeah. We've been taping every morning. It's been early mornings. You know. Did you, you guys hang out like last night or anything? We did. We hung out at Chandler Parsons' house last night. <laughs> what in did Malibu. you do at so, Chandler Parsons' uh, house? We literally just had dinner, watched games, and uh -huh. uh, got to know each other. Did he have so, a chef? Fun. He had a chef, yes. And what did you eat? I don't know if I'm giving up too much information. No, no, no. Chandler. Chicken, uh, some fish. So it was diverse. It was a very diverse uh, palette of food. And you just, so. you didn't think like, let me invite Kay? Or oh you weren't my like, God. let me Oh, don't do me like that. Don't put it on me. She wants to go. You I don't know, really... I would have invited you. It wasn't my home. Oh, so. oh so yeah, Chandler yeah, didn't yeah. want me to come. Okay, thanks, <laughs> Beetle and Chandler. I'm mad at you guys now. Uh, okay, so yes, you guys are here live in LA. Now, before we get going on this, um, th getting to know you thing, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with you. I'm I appreciate you. I'm obsessed with you. I got, oh, my God, don't all faint. Um, I got to get your thoughts on this guy's haircut because it's tragic. I, We're all making fun of it. So I just met Conrad. Yeah. Uh, I think, I think you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut him some slack. You know, you can't, the one thing you can't do is cheat on your barber because your barber knows you best. And what I heard, I don't, you know, sources on the street say that uh, Conrad cheated on his barber. I did. So. Is that true? Confirmed. That uh, is not something that I would advise as someone that, you know, I get my haircut very, very frequently as well, so oh, I would well, not advise that. I mean, that. he's monogamous, he's loyal. Is it is the best person there. He's loyal to his barber. Okay, uh, a question for you. NBA known for famous iconic hairstyles. Rodman, of course, the dye jobs, mm -hmm. the Birdman, Mohawk, the Dr. J. Fro. How does the Conrad stack up? Uh, I mean, it's, it's definitely unique. Uh, not much of a fade there. I think. Do they, do they got this on 2K? Can he, you get this on 2K, Sean? I, I think that that's he like loves a. the attention, doesn't he? I don't. I don't know what that is. That's like Gordon Hayward. Did you guys see Gordon Hayward's haircut the other day? Uh, by the way, Gordon Hayward used to have an amazing fade. Like, definitely uh, iconic and very something that I tried to model myself after at times, but. Yeah, that's very unique. Let's get to know very Shams. Unique. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give you some prompts and give us quick details. What is your most irrational fear? Go. My most irrational fear, oh my God. Mine's coyotes lately, what's yours? <laughs> Put me on the spot. Um, taking naps during the day. Oh, because you're gonna miss something? Yeah, that's- That makes me or, so or sad Or being off Wi-Fi. Like not having <gasps> Wi-Fi on planes, like I become really irritable, start losing it. You, you go around uh, that PJ uh, life, uh, don't uh, even talk uh, no, to me. No. Okay, what is your greatest strength? My greatest strength, I think discipline, honestly. Like I feel like I'm a very structured, disciplined person. I think it's because I have to, I have a very regimented lifestyle. So, yeah. You know, so I, I like that. I, I like that about me. Uh, biggest risk you've ever taken? Biggest risk I've ever taken? Um, not caring about school when I was in school because I, I, I knew what I wanted to do. Yeah. Driving to Milwaukee, Indiana to cover games and like missing out on social life, missing out on school life. So yeah. um, So when we have kids, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally kidding. When you have kids, are you going to encourage? I know, obviously. <laughs> but we, you're going to encourage, like, just follow your dream. Like, that follow would be your, your advice to everyone out there. Follow your dreams. And at the end of the day, you have to be able to experience it. I think school is definitely very important. I wanted to be yeah. the first one out of my family in my generation to That's graduate. Amazing. So that was very important for me. But you have to be able to go through the experiences of, of whatever you want to do, whatever uh, you're passionate about. Friends ask you for advice about what? A relationship building, and also how can I get a job? That's, those yeah. are like the two questions. You know, in in the industry that I'm I'm working in, but like it's there's no like easy path, right? Like I think there's there was a template of, of like probably people that came before me of like okay, you work as a high school newspaper, you know, writer, and then college, and then pros. Like for me, I didn't really have that traditional path, so it's hard for me to answer that question. But I think just. Find your voice. Um, that's like the biggest advice I give people. That's really good advice. You guys can tweet questions at the Up and Adam Show. Um, most controversial opinion is? Oh my God. It's hard. Mine's that there's I'm gonna, no bad I'm, I'm gonna tie it back. I'm not a big naps person, so I'm like, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't like naps. I'm, I'm like anti-naps, but I have a lot of friends. There, there's a lot of studies that you should, you should nap and, yeah. and take, take time out of your day to like rest up. How many up, hours recharge. did you get a night? Um, anywhere from, Three, sometimes. How six? many last night after this Chandler Parsons that nutritional meal you guys had is wholesome family fun? Well, you gotta, you gotta remember, we gotta wake up early for the, for our seven a.m. Yeah. show. You gotta wake up early yeah. too. So. How many hours did you get last night? Three and a half. Three and a half. <laughs> the amount of concealer under my eyes would be <laughs> insane. Okay. Mine too. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, if loving this is wrong, what does that mean? If loving this is wrong, what does that prompt? I'm sorry, I'm not on. What does that mean? If loving this is wrong, I don't want to be right. 
If loving what is wrong, I don't want to be right. These are hard. Oh man, is this like in a what is this? Is this like I in a relationship? Know. Is this like this what? is getting weird? I already told them we're having kids together. This is a version. Okay, I what think snuggling. <laughs> I think if, if, what? If, if you love snu like, I snuggling, like snuggling. Yes. Oh, that's the that's best a, thing I've ever That's a very heard. key thing. That's a very key thing. Oh in a my gosh, if loving this is wrong, I don't want to be right. Snuggling, it's my favorite. Okay, the dorkiest thing about you is, ten seconds. I mean, I'm like, I, I feel like I'm a nerd for sure. So that's probably it. Like that's the dorkiest thing. I'm a nerd. Uh, and biggest date fail quickly. I'm a nerd. I already said it. I already said it on your show. It's like when I when I left uh, for 30 minutes on a date to to take a phone call. I know. Call. And then, but you like broke news. I know, but I didn't get another date with her, so it didn't work out for me. Well, you're an idiot, woman. You're you're the you're the Conrad haircut of dates. All right, we'll be back tomorrow on Up and Watch Run It Back with Chubbs. <laughs>